top, we put up these tarps. That's helping a lot because it's been really nice out. It is now spring here in Florida. All right, all of the repairs on the bus have happened on the white now, and it's in primer. So, uh, there's some rust spots here and there that popped back, especially in the rain gutter. So that has all been completely repaired and now in primer. And the bus is now ready to paint the white. So once this primer dries, sand it down, taper all off, and paint the white. a bunch of cypress tongue and groove for a house and all this cypress will be good for the toilet mulch good morning as you can see I have a, um, a little bit of mood regulation problems so sometimes I cry for no reason well there was a reason it's kind of all this stress that we've been, more mental stress about everything going on with the, uh, the virus that's been going around, the coronavirus. Um, and of course for us, it doesn't really affect us too much because we, um, we work for ourselves. Uh, and, um, Everybody works for themselves. This has been a very big, uh, I hope it makes everybody kind of think a little differently. For instance, um, something that we've been doing for years now, uh, we totally try to avoid plastic bags. And I know in one of my videos, very early on, actually one of my videos where I'm taking groceries onto the boat when I was first filming one of my first like first four videos um, it shows me having plastic bags as I put it onto the boat um, but if you can tell like I was kind of not in a good mood in that video and really the reason why was I had already filmed that video once of us taking the groceries and putting them on the boat and we um, we reuse our bags so that bag those bags were reused bags um, but uh, I had to refilm that. I can't even like really concentrate on what to think about or like talk about. Like my brain is so, um, it just feels so unorganized right now. And um, okay, so anyways, um, here is what we've been doing all along for a long time now is going to, there's farm markets around town. A lot of people uh, don't go to this one. Um, I'm having trouble holding this phone because the pop socket I had fell off it so I can't like hold the phone properly anymore. Um, So this is what we've been getting for groceries. Let me just turn this film. So we just get our groceries at the farm market. Uh, it's right around the corner from us. Granted right now is kind of a scary time because everybody's afraid to go to the grocery stores um, and certain things are out of stock. So um, 
I know I'm looking a little stressed out. I'm a little hot too. Like the weather's been pretty warm um, instantly. I, uh, the other interesting thing is seeing all of the um, Italy clean up, which is pretty wild to see that. Man, I'm looking rough. Holy crap. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I'm like, is that me? <laughs> so, I'm going to unload the groceries and uh, unpack everything. And let's... What am I doing? First thing we got was some tomatoes. We didn't get very many. Um, tomatoes go bad pretty quickly. Uh, so we just eat them as they're going. Um, and uh, whether we cook them or we eat them raw, uh, that's pretty much what we do with tomatoes. The other thing about having a little boat is figuring out places to stow things. That's always the challenge is figuring out what to do with everything. Some local honey. Gotta get ourselves some local honey. Raw Florida orange blossom honey. Yep, Pete always needs some honey in his coffee. These honey bells are really good. These honey bell oranges, sweet as can be. We pretty much eat those as they go too. We've also got some grapefruit. Uh, grapefruit is delicious if you get it not from the grocery store, get it from a farm or somewhere that has local oranges and any kind of fruit, like a Meyer lemon or a nice lime. There's actually a tree like right around in our neighborhood that has Meyer lemons. We also found some wild snap peas, but they didn't have any. Of course, things are probably gonna start going quicker, so. And look at this freaking onion. A Florida onion, guys. Yum. Love these things. We usually try to eat the chives first. Get those cooked up in something quicker. No falling allowed, phone. Jeez. This is like a... This is not a very good film. Anyways, Florida onions. About the size of my face. Um... Who knows how many hands touch this, so this is kind of freaky doing this, not gonna lie. Okay. Granted, we do try to go places where there's not a lot of hands touching, but um, right now it's a little different. It makes you feel weird about things. And that, uh, that came straight from the farm to the people who are serving the food and fruits and vegetables. What are you gonna do at a grocery store? This whole thing's freaky. The beets. I love the beet greens. Thanks to Colin for showing us that. I actually didn't know that you could eat beet greens. Love them. They're delicious. And some beets. Beets are good to cook or eat raw. I cook them in anything. You can throw them in any kind of veggie meal. It's delicious. Uh, what do I do with the beets? I don't know what to do with the beets. What do I do with the beets, Pete, if you're watching? You're not watching. You're standing on the bus. I don't know what to do with these. What do I do with beets? I don't want the greens to touch everything because I want to like wash them, but I also... I don't know what to do with beets. I guess the beets could go right here. For right now. Until I figure out a place for this. Okay, next. This is the third lettuce Pete bought. I don't need another lettuce, but I'm glad that he grabbed it. I guess I will make something with this. I've also got this guy, which I've been trying to keep watered. Maybe I should put these guys in the ground. What do you guys think? The only thing is, 
This wood shop is not a place to have a garden. Hooray. Lots of lettuce, okay. We do have some mangoes. Those came from far away. So sometimes that farmer's market will have some things that are from far away. But wash your damn hands. Okay, this is some uh, sweet potatoes. We like sweet potatoes better than we like regular potatoes. They seem to last 10 times longer. They taste so much better. We cook them in everything. It's not necessarily a sweet potato. They go good, they go good with salt and pepper also. Sweet potatoes rock. They cut like a rock too. They're definitely hearty. There used to be a store here in town, the Ripe and Ready, and they used to have these purple potatoes. Those things were so good. The purple sweet potatoes. Mm. We got some fresh zucchini. It's nice because we don't have to actually refrigerate it right away, but we do uh, try to eat it as we see it go. Cabbage. Cabbage goes really good with everything. Sometimes we'll even put tuna in and eat it raw. It's really good if you put some tuna on there. Make that like a sandwich or a roll, I guess. It's good, nice and hearty. And it's, you know, lasts forever. I, we don't have to refrigerate this. All right, so that comes to total of two cabbages. This one's starting to go, so we need to cook this. It's no longer good raw, it's kind of like rubbery. But it's good if you cook it. This guy, we might want to eat sooner than later, so I'm going to put him on top and cook him tonight. Carrots! Look at these things! Giant! Uh, these don't necessarily have to be refrigerated. Um, they're nice and not bendy, but as they start getting bendy, it's time to cook them. Um, but I've been putting these on like the top shelf of the refrigerator and been fine. I've been trying to figure out where to put things in this fridge too because you know it's a, a boat fridge so if, if you keep things in some areas it'll freeze and others it won't or it'll be too cold for if you live on a boat you know about it and last but not least some brussels sprouts uh we got a lot of them right now we actually have some in the refrigerator so uh we're definitely going to be cooking lots of brussels sprouts uh we've been being vegetarian for a while now uh thanks to ava she actually uh, became vegetarian and so that made us cook vegetarian and I am so grateful to Ava for for getting us to be on the veggie di diet. Uh, granted we'll eat meat you know like if it came down to it. Uh, I'll definitely catch a fish and uh, eat crab and stuff like that. Okay well I'm gonna continue to put things away and then I'm gonna disinfect all the surfaces and wash my hands. See you guys later.